Welcome to our lecture online. Now for something a little bit more challenging. They're asking us to find the vector. Which vector? Well, it's a velocity vector that has a magnitude of 5 meters per second and it acts along a line from point 1, negative 1, 2 to another point 0, 2, 3. It is in meters and we're supposed to write that velocity vector in the ijk form. So how do we do that? Well, we start out by drawing a picture of what's going on. So we're going to find the two points in the xyz coordinate system. So let's draw one of those first. Here's our z-axis, our y-axis, and our x-axis. Now let's find those two points. The first point is positive 1 in the x-direction, a negative 1 in the y-direction, and a positive 2 in the z-direction. So if we draw a little parallelogram here, and now from this point we go up 1, 2, there's our first point, and it would be 1, negative 1, and 2. So that's point 1. Now let's find point 2. It has coordinates 0, 2, and 3, so 0 in the x-direction, 2 in the y-direction, 3 in the z-direction. So this would be our second point with coordinates 0, 2, and 3. Let's call that point 2. Now let's draw a line from those, between those two points. So here's our line in three-dimensional space. So now we're looking for a vector that points in that direction from point 1 to point 2. So let's draw the vector. There's the vector we're looking for. Let's call that the v-vector. Now the question is, how do we go about finding that vector in the ijk format? Well, first what we probably should do is find a unit vector in direction from point 1 to point 2. How do we do that? Hmm. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write it like that. I'm looking for the v unit vector, a vector in the direction of v with only one unit long. To do that, we're going to find the changes between the x, y, and z value between those two points. So I can say that my delta x is equal to x2 minus x1, which is equal to 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. So the change from point 1 to point 2 in the x direction is negative 1 units. The change in the y direction, which would be y2 minus y1, would be equal to 2 minus or minus 1, which is a positive 3. So we have a change of 3 in the y direction, and the change in the z direction is equal to z2 minus z1, which is equal to 3 minus 2, which is 1. So those are all the changes in the x, y, and z direction. So next what we're going to do is try to find the x, y, and z components of the unit vector v. Because once we have the unit vector v, we need to multiply times the magnitude of v to get the vector v. So how do we find the unit vector v and the, the magnitude of each of the components? Let's get the magnitude or the distance between those two points. So I'm going to do here is take, say, magnitude between from point 1 to point 2 is going to be equal to the square root of the delta x squared, so it will be the delta x squared plus the delta y squared plus the delta z squared, which in other words is equal to the square root of minus 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 1 squared. That would be 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 1 is 11. That would be the square root of 11. So the distance from this point to this point is equal to the square root of 11. If we now want to find the unit vector, unit vector v, whoop, and I keep writing vector v, but I'm really meaning to write the unit vector v, is going to be equal to negative 1 divided by the square root of 11 in the i direction plus 3 divided by the square root of 11 in the j direction plus would be um, 1 over the square root of 11 in the k direction. So now we have an equation that gives us the unit vector v in the direction from point 1 to point 2. Now if I want to find the vector v, the vector v is simply equal to the magnitude of v times the unit vector v. So now what we do is we take the magnitude, and so this would be equal to 5 
multiplying times the unit vector v, which is minus 1 over the square root of 11 in the i direction, plus 3 over the square root of 11 in the j direction, plus 1 over the square root of 11 in the k direction. And if we factor out the 1 over the square root of 11, this would then become equal to 5 divided by the square root of 11 times i, or negative i, plus 3j plus 1k. And that would then be the velocity vector expressed in terms of i, j, k. And that's how it's done. So simply again, we get the direction here from take, making a vector from point 1 to point 2. We first find the changes in the x, the y, and the z. We can then find the unit vector by taking the magnitude of that and then dividing the change in x, y, and z by the magnitude of that distance. That will give us a unit vector in that direction. Once we have the unit vector, we multiply that times the magnitude of the vector v, and we get the vector v in terms of the i, j, and k components. And that's how it's done.